Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Mike Gingy Wood. Inherent nature cannot be named. Originally, it is not mundane, nor is it holy. It is neither defiled nor pure. It is not empty or existent either, and it is not good or bad. And that's a quote from Bai Zhang. So this is to certify that on the first day of June in the year 2024, Michael Wood, original name, Jinji Sunya, Buddhist name, which translates as true wisdom, is certified as a Dharma holder at One Mind Zen Collective in the East Mountain Sanghas. I would like to uh, read to you what he wrote um, as his Dharma speech. Which So this is from Reverend Jinji. A newborn sparrow, among other songbirds, is called attritial as opposed to pre-social. That means that the chick is particularly unformed, blind, hairless, mouth agape, to accept food from whomever offers, as it cannot realize and recognize its mother. Such was the baby chick who fell from its nest and into the bush along my parents' driveway, where, at age 18, I was playing basketball. I was altricial in many ways, too, certainly blind, though most of us most certainly not hairless. That gaping mouth opened toward me in desperation further exposed my blindness. I had no skills at the time to care for it, no internet to tutor me. No, I fed with what I could find, most of it I hoped useful. I made it comfortable and put it in a warm space where it died overnight. I buried it in the cigar box in which I'd placed it and had laid it on some fresh leaves and a warm fuzzy washcloth. The bird has been with me since, carried along as a reminder of the random unfairness of life my own inability to ease that suffering and of my desire to be helpful. I love his unloved loving heart. Common Sparrow, the name I've chosen for my current hermitage and hopefully future Zen Center, is so named to honor that bird and to honor the practice of opening one's eyes. No blind, unformed practitioner will learn to see for sure, but I hope to provide a place for insight, food appropriate to their needs, and a place like all such places, people come in to want to learn how best to help. In spiritual terms, I spent most of my life longing to know how to know a specific saving enormity. I wanted to know who to become who would be known by that same spirit. But the day I saw that baby sparrow, I began slowly to want something else, something deeper. I wanted to know what I can do to help. I wanted to be the person who didn't need to be known, but to know. Skillfully, decisively, lovingly, to me that is the spiritual practice, monk or not, Zen or something else. I don't need eyes because it doesn't matter who needs help, but I at least like to practice seeing as much as I can while I can.